Let's learn about how we can short circuit our code with the OR operator. So what we're seeing here is we want to allow the user to type something in. If the user doesn't type in anything, then we're going to have a default value that we're going to then assign to the user input value and print it out. Let's run the code and check it out. Waiting for us to type something in. And then we see we typed hello. Let's see what happens when we type nothing. Then we see default value. Let's discuss how we can convert these three lines of code into one line of code using the OR operator to short circuit our code. Boom, there you go. So now you're probably wondering, whoa, what just happened here? So take a look at this. What we're gonna say here is if user input is nothing or something that is false, it's a string with nothing in it or a list with nothing in it or it's zero, it's just converts to a, a false value, then we're going to use the default value. So what we can do here is you can use this with any type of false-ish, true-ish value inside of Python. And this is an easy way for you to be able to have a value and then default to another value if the original value doesn't actually have anything in it. So let's run our code and check it out. We can see that hello actually sticks, so it actually has a value, so it's going to use the user inputted value, which is what was typed in. Now let's try out if we type nothing in. Now we see default value. So what we've just done here is we've learned how we can condense those three lines of code that we had earlier into a one single line and make our code more streamlined by short-circuiting it.